The day of Paharita's liberation came without commotion. An ordinary day, full of worries and wishes. An itchy day of discontent, but with enough music to make it bearable. The whole world hummed. Paharita had been walking forever. She looked at her dusty feet, then her wings. Her wings were a burden. They gave her a false sense of pride. Such pretty feathers, she thought. She made them fan and she peeked demurely through their silver shadows. Who am I kidding, she said to herself, disgusted and weary from hope. These things are useless, inutil. Yes, she thought, this day is as dull as dust. Mas de nada, de nada, de nada. But wait a minute. One thing was different. There appeared to be a fork in a road that had previously been one narrow dirt road. I never noticed two ways, she said. Both roads looked a little pretty and a little ugly. Both had crooked houses, pink, turquoise, adobe. Both had bright white shirts and patched pants that flapped and chattered in the crisp language of clothes on the line. Yet, there was a discernible fork and one road was not the other. One road led to something peaceful and fantastic. The other, El Camino Muertos. The dilemma was that she didn't know which was which.